hey what's up so let me show you now how we can load our sas files or as css files inside our javascript code you will see a lot of frameworks uh, do that like react so i'm gonna show you how we can do this so we need to install a couple of things and i will introduce you to a new concept in webpack so npm install css loader uh, sas sas loader and style loader and put dash d flag so they, are, they, are, they will be marked as a development dependency right now let's go to our back to config and put the following code we will introduce a new uh, key inside our this object we are exporting it's called module and we will have a set of rules these rules will be used inside or while bundling these bundles so the first rule we will have we we will test some imports and this is a regular expression what you will put to be honest i'm not that good at regular expressions but i just copied this from the documentation you can copy it as, as well from there you should read uh you should see it links in the description points you to these kind of stuff in the documentation so anything that ends with as css or as sas or, or sas yeah as css or sas you can do it like this then this then i so anything that ends with this use these kind of loaders to load them which is uh, the kind of stuff that will build the dependency graph and load these stuff or that the things that we dependent on in these files so using these loaders we will load sas or scss the compiled version of of them css inside uh, our dom inside our javascript might be confusing but i will show it to you in a moment so we will use these kind of these packages that we installed so the first one will be called style loader the second one is the CSS loader and the last one is the SAS loader uh, okay so the SAS loader will compile the SAS or SCSS into CSS and thus the CSS loader uh, interprets the at import inside SAS or uh, and at and the URL function um, like import and require and it will resolve them so you can use these kind of functions inside your CSS or SAS and it will be resolved or you can import other files inside your SAS and, and that's yeah you can do that you can import other files basically um, and you can actually I believe by using this you can import your CSS inside your JavaScript yeah I'm pretty sure that's also one of the use cases for that and the last one is the style loader this one inject css into your dom so this one for compilation this one to inject the styles into your dom this one allows you to use the import or yeah you to use the import and the url uh, functions inside your sas and css and it will resolve them as well as you can import these kind of files the css files inside your uh, javascript and combining these three we can import our sas inside our javascript here and it will be compiled and injected to our dom as css and let me show it to you it might it might sound confusing when i talk but in the code uh, it will look better so i have this folder should be inside the source i will have main.scss i will have this this uh, sas inside of it let me but let me disable the let me disable prettier for a second oops not go to set things open that as JSON false so uh, this is just random sas that I copied so I want to show you the result uh, when we serve this content as static server inside injected inside our HTML 
when we import it here so let's let me now import from sas main.scss and you see react actually do this right so let's now run our bundle npm run bundle hopefully no errors yeah everything is fine but let, let me now save this so go live I already I think I talked about this I'm, I have this extension we will end up having our own web back uh, development server but let me just show you this so yeah as you can see but let me open the inspect looks like we are, I am imported the wrong thing uh, yeah of course my bad I have I exchanged their names this should be main this should be about page now run it again okay as you can see it's refreshed we have the alerts you remember we used underscore to compose these functions now we see the background as black which is in our SAS here as you can see but let's look at these so these are compiled and injected into the DOM let's look where these are so you won't see them when you press ctrl u to, to look at the source but you will see them here because I believe javascript injected them so let me open this go to the styles tag and you, as you can see let me copy this and go to oh no I can actually so let me return pretty here and let's create a file CSS just to show you the result so that's it this is the result from our SAS yeah it's like 80 lines and we actually wrote 24 so yeah I, but not that's not the point the point that this this SAS will be compiled and injected into our DOM like this with the help of these uh, loaders that will so that will catch that you are loading SAS inside JavaScript and apply these loaders to resolve that dependency uh, style loader for injecting CSS into the DOM CSS loader that allows you to import CSS inside your JavaScript and allows CSS to use import and URL functions and will resolve them uh, this will comp this loader will compile SAS and CSS into JavaScript into CSS so it m might be confusing but this is basically it this is how most of the frameworks do it they will just have these uh, rules inside our module property and it will resolve the SAS as CSS and inject it into the DOM and that's it uh, in the next video or maybe not in the next video uh, I'm not sure but at some point I will show you how we can actually compile our SAS and put them inside a folder here so yeah that's my, might be a case that you want to do uh, yeah there's so many things you can do with back, with back. so yeah thank you